Today, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Zapier and how to start creating zaps or triggers to automate your workflow. So first, you want to go to zapier.com. I'll have a link in the description down below. And you want to go to the top right where it says sign up. Now, you can either sign up with a Google, Facebook, or Microsoft account, or you can sign up using an email first and last name. So we're going to go ahead and use the email option here. I'm just going to enter in my email. And then it's going to ask you for a password. So go ahead and enter that password. And then let's go ahead and click on where it says get started for free. Now here it's going to ask you if you want to customize your experience. You can select whatever applies to you. I'm just going to click two options here and click on continue. You can also select which apps that you currently use. So it just tailors a better experience to you. You don't have to do this option. You can go ahead and click on where it says skip at the bottom. And now we can go ahead and start creating some workflows. So the way you can start creating an automation is by going to the top left and clicking on where it says create zap. And there's always two options for every zap automation. There is a trigger which starts your automation workflow. And then there is an action which is the action that you take once something has triggered the event. So let's say for example, that every time I get a mail in my inbox, so let's connect to Gmail. And under the event section, we want to have a trigger every time we get a new email. So let's go ahead and select the option that says new email, which says triggers when a new email appears in a specified mailbox. Then we can go ahead and click on where it says continue. And now we're going to need to connect our Gmail account to our Zapier account. So let's go ahead and click on where it says sign in. Then let's click on where it says continue. And now we can send which label or inbox we want. I'm going to select the inbox option right here and click on where it says continue. And now we can go ahead and send a test trigger to see if this works. And we got this email right here. Let's go ahead and click on where it says continue. And then now we can select an action. So this is what we're going to do every time we receive a new email in our email box. So for this example, I'm going to select the Google Sheets app. I'm going to create a spreadsheet row. Then click on where it says continue. And then we need to sign into our Google Sheets. And then once you connect your Google Sheets account, go ahead and click on where it says continue. And now we need to select a drive. So I'm just going to select my Google Drive right here. And now we need to select a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new spreadsheet. I'm just going to call this YouTube tutorial. And then we're going to go ahead and search for that spreadsheet that we just created and select it. If you don't see the spreadsheet, you might need to refresh your page. And then let's select a worksheet, which is just going to be sheet one. It's going to say we didn't see any headers in the selected spreadsheet and worksheet. So let's go ahead and add some headers right now. I'm going to say email name like so. And then I'm going to refresh this page. And now we can see that brand new header we just created. So what we want that header to be is the subject. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click on continue. And now we can go ahead and click on where it says test and continue. You'll see here that it says a spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets in about zero seconds. If we go to our Google Sheets, we can now see that the subject email is now added to our spreadsheet. So if we want to go ahead and click on publish zap, we can go ahead and turn this on. So that way, every new email we get will get added to this spreadsheet. And we can see here that it says your zap is on. If we go to our zaps, we'll see that it's listed right here and that it is currently enabled. If you want to learn how to connect your Zapier account to Wix, I have a video that you can watch on the screen right now.